to today's meditation time. It is an honor to spend these few minutes with you. Um, I don't know about you, but I look forward to when that alarm goes off. You know, I have my own personal meditation time and it occurs at different times of the day, but there's something really special about a reminder on my alarms that says, it's time to do this with other people. It's time to collectively become present. It's time to collectively find a little stillness and a little peace in our lives. And I think there's a lot of power in that. And I think there's a big honor in that as well. And so let's just settle in. And as you get comfortable where you are, I would invite you just to close your eyes. And just begin to find a rhythm of breath that works for you. Trying to get a deep inhale followed by a deep exhale. But you set the pace. Just bringing the breath in in a way that is nurturing and empowering. And letting the breath go in a way that just feels like you are stable and secure. And so just find a couple more breaths here. And then just start to notice what does everything feel like? We're coming to the end of, I'm sure, what has been a busy weekend. We are on the cusp of a new Monday morning. And so just check in and see where are the spots of you, of you that are tired? Where are the spots of you that are a little restless? Where is there pain or stressful places within you? It doesn't mean in these next few minutes that we are going to fix everything and we're going to bring it all back together, but we are going to make an effort to find real connection to us. And then the other things just begin to fall into place. So if you'll just continue to breathe nice and slow, deep and long, our focus for these minutes is power. I know that sounds like kind of an odd thing in meditation to focus on, but what I like you to do is your eyes are closed where you are, is when I say the word power, just see what image is conjured up in your mind. What do you see? It could be an image from a movie, something from Hollywood. It could be something from history, something a little more personal, but what do you see when I say the word power? And then on the other end of that, what do you see in your mind when I say the word powerless? What does that image look like? And then just think to yourself, if I had to define myself in this moment where I am today, would I see myself reflected in that image of power? Or would I see myself more closely represented in the image of powerless? We've all had times in our life where we feel powerful and empowered and strong, and we have all had times when we feel powerless. It is an ebb and flow of the situations that come to us. It is a measure of how well we adapt to those situations. It's also a reflection of how we see ourselves. And so today, in these minutes that we have, what I'd like us to do is just commit over these, these few minutes that we have together that when a sense of powerlessness comes in, rather than just accepting it as part of whatever we're going through, rather, we will question it. And for some of you, you may be in the middle of that right now. Some of you are in an empowered time in your life. Some of you are going through some trials and some, some dark moments where you feel powerless. And so what I'd like us to do across these few minutes that we have is just find a way to not accept it. And if you're not experiencing it right now, I want these tools to be embedded inside of you so that when the next thing comes and the surge of powerlessness begins to bubble up, you've got something to refer back to. Because what we know is that when you feel powerless, it is frustrating. Sometimes it's causing anger. Sometimes it causes us, us to withdraw because we feel like we're a victim and we can't put ourselves out there anymore. Sometimes it causes us to feel like we don't have any value. And depending on how that powerlessness manifests, 
one or two or many of those impacts can come. And so the first thing that I'd like for you to do is just recognize those things have happened in our past. And maybe we let them linger longer than we should have, but they're done. The situations are done and today we're gonna find the tools to help us feel empowered. Now, power is something that comes internally from within us. It's not something that comes through an external force. And at the same time, our sense of powerlessness is the same way. I know that in different times in your life or different times in the lives of people that you know, there's a lot of justification of why we feel powerless. But we need to recognize no matter what external things are happening around us, inside of us is this storehouse of empowerment. All we've got to do is access it. So how? How do we do it? How do we do it when the external stuff of life seems so dark and so insurmountable? Well, the first thing we do is the same thing we do when we come together in meditation. We breathe. And I don't just say that lightly. I believe that the breath is the strongest tool we have. But it's not a matter of just taking deep breaths and making it all go away. It is a matter of making the breath your intention. When you have moments, and it could be with the person that you work for, for some people, it could be the person that you live with. It could be someone in your family that you interact with a lot or not a lot. It could be a situation where something happened that you just had no control over and tragedy came. But I will tell you that through all of those, your breath is your stabilizing force. It will remind you of the empowerment that you have. And so I want us just for these next few breaths to be very intentional about how we're breathing. And I would encourage you if you're comfortable, put one of your hands, it doesn't matter which one, right in the center of your belly. Whether you understand energies or not, it does not matter, but right here where you're touching or where I'm touching is the solar plexus energy. It's the energy of empowerment. It is where the fire it's stirred up. It is where we find our value and our inner strength. And so as your hand just rests on your belly, I want us to breathe together and try to fill the belly with air. Don't just breathe from your chest. Try to take it from deep, deep in the belly and feel the way the hand moves as we breathe in and out. So together, take a slow, deep breath in. Let the belly fill. Oh, feel the hand move and then exhale. Everything deflates. One more time, do it again. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more like that, deep breath in from the belly. And let it go. And then just allow your hand just to come back. And in those moments, when you feel powerless, because of a person or a situation or an emotion that you feel, go to your breath. Sit quietly, lie down, close your eyes and just breathe. And it doesn't mean the situation is fixed when you open them, but it means that you have begun to stir up the feelings of empowerment. So how else, how else besides the breath can we feel the empowerment that is ours. And the second way that I would tell you is through your gratitude practice. And I know that some days are dark and it's really difficult to find the things for which you are grateful. But as long as you are up and breathing, even in the midst of the trouble and the trauma and the tragedy, you've got something to be grateful for. You're up and breathing. And you look outside and it's cloudy, so maybe you are grateful for the cleansing rain. 
or you look outside and the sun is shining bright and it's hot and you are grateful for the light. And then you look across at someone that's important to you in your life and you see the pain that they're going through and you're grateful for the chance to be with them. And then you look at an empty chair where someone incredibly important to you used to sit and they're no longer there and you are grateful for the fact that they sat with you. Gratitude, it truly is a game changer. It doesn't mean that you're discounting the heartaches and the dark moments that you pass through. It just means that even in the midst of them, you find a reason to be grateful. There's a Buddhist teaching that tells us that suffering is part of life. We're not immune to it. We're really not even trying to escape it. What we're trying to do is live a life that is vibrant in the midst of it. So the breath, the gratitude, and there's one more way to bring back a sense of empowerment to you. And that is in your service to others. Because no matter how troubled you are, and for some of us, how broken we feel, or how disillusioned we become, the minute you turn your focus to someone else in service, you truly put those things to the side. Delivering something to someone that's an expression of love. Sitting with someone who just needs company. Letting someone cut in front of you in the line in traffic. It can be tiny and inconsequential and it can be great. But in those moments when you turn your attention to someone else, that means you've taken your attention away from the sense of powerlessness. And in that moment on that day, you are a beacon of light for that person. You let them cut in line in traffic Maybe you save them from losing their job and being late that day. You just never know. We breathe. We are grateful. We act in service to others. And we become empowered. So let's just sit together for these next couple of minutes and just let all of that just kind of sit within you. And rather than sitting with the darkness or the powerlessness or the tragedy or the sadness, sit for just these next couple of minutes with the breath, the gratitude, and the potential of serving someone tomorrow. As I've touched the mallet to the singing bowl, the vibration is spreading through the airwaves from me to you. It's a reminder of what a powerful thing each of our energy is. So my hope for you for the rest of today in the coming days, in the days that we can't even imagine yet, is that even in the midst 
of feeling powerless, of feeling like the world is closing in and the days are really dark. We have our breath. We have something to be grateful for. In fact, we have many somethings to be grateful for. And we have the potential of serving someone else from the tiniest, tiniest act to the biggest that you can imagine. And when you begin to connect to one or two or all three of those things, I promise you, my friends, you will feel empowered. And the next time that sense of a lack of control comes again, you'll be reminded that you are empowered. Namaste.